Hi, my name is Orion, and I'd like to present some improvements to our contact configuration regulation framework. Previously, we developed a joint estimation and control framework for manipulating unknown objects via tactile feedback. We have expanded the set of contact interactions that can be regulated by our system to include multiple and intermittent contacts between the object, end effector, and environment. Our system uses a flat palm to manipulate polygonal objects in the vertical plane. The environment consists of the ground and up to two vertical walls. Our primary sources of feedback are robot proprioception and a force torque sensor in the wrist. We also use a limited amount of visual feedback to provide an object shape prior for our estimator. We focus on regulating a system's contact configuration specifically the location, geometry, and the mode of contacts between the robot end effector, the object, and the environment. As mentioned, this is a joint estimation and control framework. Today, our main focus is the estimator, which we have changed significantly. In the first half of our estimation loop, we detect sticking and slipping using a friction estimator developed previously and detect contact geometry using a set of heuristics presented in our paper. For instance, we have a heuristic for guessing whether or not the object is in point or line contact with the ground. This is accomplished by comparing our estimates of the vertex positions with the estimated center of pressure between the object and the ground. Combining multiple heuristics allows our estimator to identify a variety of contact geometries. In the second half of the estimation loop, the estimated stick-slip state and the contact geometry are fed into a factor graph-based kinematics estimator which localizes both the target object and the contacts through various state transitions of the system. We have expanded our controller to make use of these new estimation capabilities. The controller is able to regulate the contact configuration of the system. A given reactive behavior is encoded as a motion primitive, which can then be executed by the controller. For the motion primitive depicted in these videos, the controller has been commanded to regulate the object's orientation while simultaneously enforcing staking contact at both the robot and ground contacts. Since our improved estimator can now detect multiple external contacts, we have designed new motion primitives that regulate the object while it is in contact with a wall. We have used our new estimates of both the geometry and location of the hand contact interface to update our old motion primitives and to design some new ones. Thank you for watching.